Hello, how are you? Today we're going to make a reflected text, kind of like you see around the web. So, we're going to make it 800 by 600. File, new, blank file. Okay, we're going to call it reflection. All right, here it is. We hit the preset, 800 by 600. That sets it up right here, the resolution, 72 pixels per inch. That's our screen resolution, RGB, white background. We're good to go here. Okay, hit OK. Now, remember, if you double-click on the hand tool, the uh, picture will fill this area here, fill the frame. There we go. Now, we're going to grab our text tool, the T, the horizontal type tool, actually. Click on there. And just click anywhere on your stage and just type a word. I'm a real sort of positive person, so I'm going to type in hopeful. Something sort of describes you or describes something that, uh, that you believe in, just for this particular exercise. Now, the text I have, or the font, is You Are Loved. I went on to uh, dovefont.com and got the free fonts. And so I'm going to grab this. And you know when you've got it, um, the font, yeah, you have it blinking inside. or It's not selected, but you're blinking inside the line. If you move the cursor away a little bit, you can move that font anywhere you want. So I'm going to kind of move it at like a top third of this, uh, of this thing here. Okay, we have that. I'm going to go over here, click on that font layer to make sure it's locked in. Now I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm just going to take it, click, hold, and drag it right to create new layer. So click and drag it there. Now we have a copy of this. I'm going to double click on that copy and type reflection. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, now we have that. And I'm going to drag that straight down. But first I'm going to go over here and grab the move tool. And now I'm just going to uh, click on that uh, adjustment box right there. Very important. I'm going to drag straight down. It's going to squish it and move it straight over. Do about the same thing like that. Now I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to use the arrow key to nudge it up. I'm going to see the H and the L. I want them to touch. Just touch like that. So it uh, has a nicer looking uh, reflection there. Now we got that. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit Apple S. And so all I'm doing is saving this as the PSD file. Going into my, uh, whoops, that's not the right folder. Going to my movies, lessons, and then hit save. Okay, now we're going to put a gradient over this because it needs to fade a little bit here. So we're going to go down over to uh, the create new layer. I have that selected because we want to put this layer on top of the layer we have. So I'm going to click on that layer. Now, I'm going to go over here to the gradient tool. If this is all in one long row, it'll be towards the bottom. The gradient tool. Click on that. I want to grab a transparent gradient, something that's a color. Actually, you see that right there? I had it up. Okay, well, we'll just go here. We'll click on this. And um, let's see. It's taking on the foreground color there. So, actually, that's fine because... We just want one with half that's half transparent. And you know that when you see the checkerboards, you know it's going to be half transparent. So we're going to click on that, which is what we have there. We're going to either click in here or the edit. And we're going to go over here. Now what we have, these are the um, color stops. So we're going to click on this one right here. It gives us this foreground color. We're going to click there and we're going to go up here and click to get white. We want the same color as the background. So it's not quite white, because if I look down here in the hexadecimal code, it's FC, blah, blah. Now, we want it to be all Fs. So you can hit F, 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 six Fs, and that's absolutely as white as your background. Hit OK. Now, we have this, there's a blueness in here. So even though this is transparent, it's still picking up a little of that blue. So we're going to click on this color stop, and we're going to make this white as well. So we're going to either you can click up there or you can just go straight here and type your Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you have that white here as well. Okay. Now you see how it's a nice white transition all the way through. Hit OK. Make sure your mode is on normal. Very important. Now we're going to click down here and drag up. 
click and drag up to about the top of the word or the bottom of the word. And so, okay, that gives us a little bit of a fade, but I want a little bit more, so I'm going to actually make that a little bit tighter of a grade. So I'm going to grab from right here to the bottom of the word. Okay, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. All right, maybe, yeah, that's good. And take this, this word reflection, the one that's right here, and you lower the layer opacity down a little bit. So it starts getting a little transparent like that. I'm looking at about 80, 80%. Doesn't have to be exactly that, right in that neighborhood. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to click again on the, actually, on the background layer because we want to put this next little thing right on the background layer. I'm going to move my, um, open this up a little bit so I can see around the edge. Now right here, you're going to have a, a shape. It could be the custom, uh, custom shape tool. If you click on that, I want the, we want the re rectangular marquee, or excuse me, just the rectangular tool, rectangle tool. Click on that. Now you can go ahead and pick a color you'd like for that. Hopefully it'll be different than that. So I'm going to click there. And um, let's see, red, uh, light, light blue, something in the yellow neighborhood. How about there. Okay, then you hit OK. Then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come up right to the edge. I'm going to click, hold, and drag down about halfway through that word. And click there. Now that creates its own layer, and now it has a shape layer there. And I'm going to click on the background to deselect that. And it kind of gives you a horizon line. So you see now you, it's looking like this is reflecting on a shiny white surface. So what we want to do is put a, I'm not a real fan of that color, but it's fine. You can put any color you want into there. And click on the top layer. We're going to put a frame on this now. Actually, I'm going to change the color of this. I'm not really thrilled with it, so let me try that. hope it's not going to fill it. Arg. I'm going to click on that. Click there. Not going to fill it. Okay, so we'll just put another one on there that's red and see how that looks. Okay, I'll throw away the one I didn't like. Like This is the yellow one. I can just turn it off or throw it away. So I'll drag it up to the trash can. There you go. So I like that red a little bit better. Oh, how patriotic. Um, let's see. Now, I'm going to click on the top layer here. That's the whole thing. You're playing around. You're trying different things. See what you like. Click on here. Now we're going to add a new layer. Create a new layer. Click on this right there. And so up here, we're going to fill this with black. You can fill it with any color you'd like for your frame. I use black a lot because it looks nice as a frame. Um, we're going to go over to uh, Edit. Fill layer, use black. A lot of times it come in, comes in as a foreground color, but you can use um, whatever color you want. I choose black here. I hit OK. Now this is nicely filled with black. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out the center, and we're going to be done. So go over here to the um, rectangular marquee tool. Again, mine are lined up in a double order here because of the size of the resolution of the screen here. So yours might be all in one big long row. The rectangular marquee tool. And make sure there's no feather on it. We're going to do a nice tight frame this time. So there's no feather. I'm just going to click up here in this corner. Click, hold, and drag it down like that. Over here. And just kind of eyeball it. Look in there. And I'm going to make it a little thinner over here because that's a little thick. It needs to take the arrow keys and nudge it so it kind of gets it evens out. But you have that. It looks pretty good. Oop, down a little. There we go. Okay, now the big backspace delete key on the Mac. Or, and bam. Now that uh, cuts that out. Make sure you have that layer selected. Now these marching ants. That's the selection. Deselect. Which is command or Apple delete. Or probably uh, control delete on a Windows machine. And I can hit Apple S again. There we have a nice thing. If you want, you can put a effect, a layer effect on the frame. Have that layer selected. Sometimes a nice little, 
nice little drop shadow adds a, adds a little bit of depth to it. And so at this point, we're pretty good. We have a nice looking little reflective message and um, with the horizon line, a frame, and looks good. If you want to, you can put your signature on there or not. I'm going to save it one more time. And there we go. All right. Have fun playing around. Use any font you want, any colors, and have a great time. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon.